funny, huh? First time I've seen Jory in a cricket match. <laughs> <laughs>
Paul to the Romans, chapter 12, verses 1 to 10. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in the view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and prove what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment, in accordance with the measure of faith God has given to you. Just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given us. If a man's gift is prophesying, let him use it in proportion to his faith. If it is serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it is leadership, let him govern diligently. If it is showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one, one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone's evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everybody. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. to everyone here today and we'd like to express our appreciation to the rector, Mr. Peter Lepcher, to all the staff members and to you, the boys of St. Paul's, for welcoming us today back to our roots on this very auspicious occasion for us. As you may know, we are the class of 1974, which means 2024 is our 50th anniversary 
since passing out of St. Paul's. With me here today are 16, including myself, of our batch. Um, we were the science and art stream at the time, uh, 11th, or as we call it, sixth form. We also welcome with us our families who've traveled with us and are experiencing all the things that we have spoken about for the last decades, telling them about our life in this school. It really is a joyous occasion for us to be here. Just a few minutes we've been here, we walked across the top field, we experienced a cricket match. We saw the respect given by the boys to us as we walked through. And um, we look forward to spending the rest of the morning and lunch here, exploring, maybe talking to some of you, learning about what's the current situation in St. Paul's. But from all we've seen so far, it looks splendid. About our group, out of the 16 of us, we come from all professions. We have a, a group of people who have been successful in various walks of life. We have scientists, we have business professionals, accountants, mariners, um, teachers, university professors, just about any facet of life. Our class was able to generate um, top quality students who then went on to university and performed extremely well. And the reason for that, in my opinion and in the opinion of all the people who've come through this school, it's the foundation that we gained during our time in this school. It has stayed with us throughout the 50 years and it will continue to stay with us uh, for the years to come. And so with that, I'd just like to again say thank you. We look forward to meeting you. And I'll end with saying that once you're a Paulite, you're always a Paulite. <coughs> Thank you, Lord, for the school to which we belong, for its foundation and continuing life under your directing power, for all who work in it and for it. Thank you for the services given by teachers and pupils. The prayer for the old polites who are not with us today. Welcome, Lord, into your calm and peaceful kingdom those who out of this present life have departed to be with you grant them rest and a place with the spirit of the just
and give them the life that knows not age and reward that passes not away through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O oh, oh, Heavenly Father, oh, who has set us here in the majestic grandeur of this mountain, make us ever mindful of the abundance of thy blessing. We praise thee for our school and for the heritage into which we have entered. Take away whatever is unworthy from our myth, cherish and strengthen whatever is there. Guide us more closely together in spirit, loyalty, and service, that the school may grow in spiritual strength and may become an ever increasing power for the extension of thy kingdom in this land. Amen. Into the world, be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted, honor everyone, love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.
Where are the balloons? Once again, I would just want to place on record a very special thank you to the Batch of 974 and the family for your support. Uh, we're really grateful to you for what you've done and uh, we look forward to uh, you know, reciprocating that in some way, hopefully, in the future. Right, but we're so grateful to all of you and request uh, Mr. Sur and Mr. Sur and uh, Mr. Roy to do the uh, do the needful to okay, actually do the honors of uh, inaugurating the generator. Okay. Boys, so this side, look at the photo. So look this side, look at the side. Godard used to look after us. Oh, wow. There were two, two boys who were yeah. here, but it was yeah. only two in that class. There was no class, it was like a piece of KG. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Godard used to look after us. Um, well, good morning and uh, my heartfelt thanks to the rector and the, the staff and the boys of St. Paul's for giving us such a magnificent welcome to us who, have, who are now commemorating 50 years of our passing out from this grand institution. Um, I think all of us were deeply moved during the splendid chapel service that we have just concluded. And it brought back all that we have experienced in this grand old institution where, where we spent many years. I personally have spent 12 years since my pre-kindergarten days in the school. And I think after coming back to the school after so many years, what stands out is that the values and the foundation and the principles that, we, that were inculcated in us uh, have stayed and will stay, I think, till our last breath. And they have forged our character, they have dictated our way of life. And I think that's the message I would like to send to our young boys and students who are still in the school, that they must really cherish their experience in the school because it is something which they will look back and feel that it was definitely the best part of their lives. And it is something that they will, uh, I think, uh, hold very dear and which will hold them in good stead throughout their lives. Um, so thank you very much for this opportunity. So on behalf of 
the old Paulites of the 74 batch. Um, once again, wishing everyone all the best and especially to our dear students. Uh, may they walk out of the gates when they finally do and prosper and do well in their lives. Thank you so much. It's just a small uh, memento. Great. Well, that's most kind of you. Thank you. Rumi. Thank you so much. Rumi Fadia. Marabun Tarani. We are getting old. Jasper Tavaria. Jasper. Sheikha Berman. Ashish Chanyan. Abu Dhar Chaudhary. Kamar Siddiq. Gautam Roy. Tajender Gil. Oh, Mr. Gil. Atul Kumar. All best in there. Devmal. Devmal Asur. Yes, we are not to call our main guys a cashier. Mr. Arindam Chakravarti. Yeah, it's you now, Mr. Devashish. So I'm left. Mr. Devashish Roy. Roy. Yeah, where is he? Big time. Where is he? Organizing everything. It's a man we have. Please, ladies. You have to take one more step up. Yes. Two, three more. Ah, right. Your hands are coming.